This is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back, Colleen clan. Or if you're new, then come join the family. Cause it's Christmas time on this channel. So I have been doing cosplay for many years and I have never made a Christmas themed cosplay, ever. So I picked out a Naruto Christmas cosplay because it has been far too long since I've made a Naruto cosplay. So I'll be making this Christmas Karin cosplay and this is her design from the Naruto online game. Now I was very deep into the Naruto online game at one point in my life. I had collected a vast army of ninjas and it appears that Naruto online has since then met its untimely demise but thankfully the designs are still available on the internet even though I can't access them through the game because the game is dead <laughs> along with my army of ninjas I spent years collecting. So I felt like I really had two choices. So I could kind of do the more canon to her design dress. I just put the zipper down the center, kind of add the sleeves or I could add all these extra seams in the front. Then I could also do some decorative stitching over some of these seams, and I think that'd be really fun. So I could take the top for this and the skirt for this, and I think that's probably what's going to happen, just because I can never do anything the easy way. Okay, so I now have the top piece laid down. This is from the Yaya Hans Ultimate Bodysuit Pattern. So I have used this many times and the pattern is, you can tell it's been used many times. It's, it's getting a little beat up. I do believe I have enough fabric to line the whole dress. And if you've been following me, you know that I love lining all of my projects. So everything I have laid out here, I'm actually going to repeat a whole other time and cut it out there as well. So I'm going to start sewing everything together. I have all my pieces. I'm gonna start with sewing the lining, which will not require any top stitching because you don't see it, it's on the inside. And if everything fits good and looks good, I'm gonna move to the outer layer, which I'm gonna add some top stitching and probably a little bit of decorative stitching too. I'm thinking of at least two separate tutorials where I use the Yaya Han Ultimate bodysuit pattern. So if you want all the like very detailed explanation of how I use this pattern and sewed it together, then uh, I have my Eno tutorial and my Wonder Girl tutorial. But since I've already done those tutorials, I don't think I need a third tutorial with this pattern. So I'm just gonna sew this up and I will see you guys when I have the lining complete. Okay guys, moment of truth. This is the lining. So when I do the skirt part, the skirt is gonna come up to here. Um, I'm really, really thankful I chose a fabric that has stretch in it. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would not be able to move my arms right now. So I'm going to do the outside layer then with all the top stitching on it. I have not finished the outer layer and that's because I had a big brain moment. And in this moment, I realized it's probably going to be easier to figure out how to Frankenstein these patterns together when it's all laying flat. See how like right now I can just kind of hold it up and it's flat and I can lay it on top of this pattern and just kind of like trace away. And uh, hopefully I can line up the shoulders with my pattern and line up kind of the armpit hole. And then once this is all kind of lined up, I can just cut whatever's left. So let me cut this out and we're gonna see if it works. <laughs> I really want to share all the like in-between stages of this project because it's pretty fabulous honestly. So here's how it looks with just like the back of the skirt. So I have like a butt cape. Here's another version. The back and front seams done but no side seam. This is like those coats that you see in like fighter games. You have all this leg movement so you can, you know, viciously fight off your enemies with kicks. Okay, now for the final evolution of this Christmas dress. So that is 
really interesting, honestly. <laughs> this is like one of the weirdest mod podge of aesthetics ever. So now I can actually properly sew together the outside layer of this. Outside layer is done. It's like when you try and put your coat on and you can't find the sleeve, but like the problem of that times two. It is a little, I mean, it's stretchy. So like I can still move my arms in it. I'm like, I'm like doing a workout over here. A bit of a tight fit. Hi, I'm back. Actually, I'm gonna do something else before I get into the decorative stitching. So I have this little like triangle of fabric and I'm going to insert this into the back to add this extra like length in the back just so the shoulders aren't as tight. So here I've ripped out the back seam on the outside layer and I just have my little triangle piece and that's gonna get sewn in and hopefully that will make everything fit quite a bit better. Like it's so much more space. Like I can actually hug myself now. <laughs> so I now have an extra little triangle in the back. I think it honestly looks really cool <laughs> with the top stitching. This is a lot better. Okay guys, I'm going to actually get into that now, but I'm glad I, I took that little break to add in the extra space. So I added the extra fabric on the front and I added the collar. It's very fuzzy. I always wonder why I don't work with faux fur more and then I keep getting fur up my nose and I'm like, that's why I don't work with faux fur as much. It's uh, quite a bit longer than what Karin wears and I'm thinking of keeping it this long. <laughs> And it's a little bit more coat shaped at the bottom, right? Because it's a little bigger down here. And I actually like it. Like, I really like it. So I tested it out on a scrap piece. I have snowflakes. So I did this stitch pattern for my Elsa dress. I actually did it a lot. And so every now and then when I use a certain stitch pattern that much, I just don't ever really want to look at it again. But I guess it's okay to do snowflakes again. So I tried snowflakes and I made the ugliest snowflakes you've ever seen. Yeah, so they're like a little deformed, you know. I think I'm gonna have to bring out the top stitching foot. So I have this magical little top stitch foot and what it does is it has this little border on it and you just line this border up to the edge and it just kind of like stabilizes the fabric a little there's no way for the fabric to like slide because there's metal here holding it in place so i think i'm gonna try it with the top stitch foot and see if that's any better we are almost done it is dark out i have been working on this cosplay literally all day <laughs> I took a break for lunch, but it kind of feels like a standard like work day, like eight hour day. So I'm going to cut off like the bottom like three inches or so, and then the coat will be done. So I'm thinking tomorrow I can do accessories. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Part of what really made me want to do this Christmas cosplay in particular is there's nothing about what I'm wearing now that really screams like Karin from Naruto. And the cool thing about that is that I can use this for things other than Naruto. I can just pull this out next year and put on a different wig and I have like an infinite number of Christmas cosplays. Okay, so I have these leggings. I believe I wore them like maybe twice. I think they might also have a hole in them. Now I had this like realization. I always thought Karin wore socks. I thought they were socks. They look like black socks, don't they? Did you think they were socks? But you can see her toes. You can see her toes in the ninja sandal. <laughs> They're not socks. She's literally wearing these like open-toed socks that's what i'm gonna call them open-toed socks 
I have not even begun to sew this together. And it's already covered in fur. Look at how much faux fur is on this. It's like a layer of snow over the whole craft room. Okay, now for the Santa hat. Honestly, this doesn't even have to fit on my head. I'm literally going to attach the Santa hat to a hair clip and clip it into my wig. It doesn't have to fit on my head. So honestly, I'm just gonna make something up. I'm gonna cut out a triangle. Well, what do you think? I think it'll look better with the trim on it and the little pom-pom at the end. So I'm gonna put it through the wig wefting. Oh my. Oh wow, this is not working. It's like hanging off the side of her head. That's no good either. I might need another clip or two just to get it to hold. I didn't realize this hat was so heavy. Like, it really doesn't weigh that much. And then I have the glasses. So you may be thinking, but Katie, you already have glasses. And I do have these glasses, which help me see. The thing about these glasses is they have lenses in them, like most glasses do. And that means that you can see the reflection of the ring light in them. And I really don't like that. So uh, I bought a pair of cheap glasses at the grocery store, actually. This was $4. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to pop out these lenses so that you can't see the reflection from the ring light. I just need the frame piece. So the last thing to talk about is the shoes I'll be using for this cosplay. So I have a few options. In the Canon reference picture, she is wearing heeled boots, heeled booties. And while it's adorable, I cannot physically wear heels. I've just stopped wearing heels at all. Even if it is just for a photo shoot, it's just very, very painful when your knee cartilage is literally falling to pieces. So I have a few options. These are my Supergirl boots. It's not a perfect color match with the red, but it works. They're still boots. The next option is red flats. These are more of like a cranberry color. So they're definitely off a lot more from the red color. The last option is to just wear my ninja sandals. So these are my Naruto cosplay shoes. I use the same shoes for literally every one of my Naruto cosplays. These are my Tamari shoes and my Rock Lee shoes and my Eno shoes. And they can also be my Karin shoes now. <laughs> These are my shoe options. I don't know which one I'll pick. So everything's done, except I do need a little bit more time to mess around with the wig and the attachment for the Santa hat. And I also need to vacuum all this faux fur. It is everywhere. It is all over me, but it is ready for a photo shoot. So I will see you guys all really soon here with my completed Christmas Karin cosplay from Naruto Online. <laughs> I've only been doing self photo shoots in my home for pretty much an entire year now but for this cosplay and for the Christmas theme I felt it was only appropriate to go outside in the winter weather and get to get the full experience of a Christmas photo shoot so I have my husband here he's been doing all the photography he kindly agreed to let me drag him out into the cold so that I could get this video footage for you guys I definitely feel like I liked the changes I made to the original design. So let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.